It's funny that you're talking about Biden and how he's really old and shit, because I want to talk about Ric Flair, who's also yeah, really old and shit. Yeah, they announced his... Uh, we, and, uh, yeah, we now know who his opponents yeah. are, and it is opponents. It is a tag team match, like I've been saying. Yep. Um, so Ric Flair is going to be teaming up with his son-in-law, Andrade El Idolo, a uh, AEW wrestler, amazing wrestler. Uh, yeah. and he's going to be going up against Jeff Jarrett and... I'm blanking on his name. The dude from fucking Elizabeth, New Jersey, who I always talk about. Jay Lethal. Yeah. Um, Jay Lethal makes perfect sense. Ric Flair, anytime he's put up any type of video or picture of him training in the ring and getting his work in, he has been training with Jay Lethal. Jay Lethal's his awesome. training partner. So having a match against him makes perfect sense. Yep. Jay Lethal is one of the best like in-ring technicians in many, in many years. He's been in wrestling for forever, so you know he's going to take good care of him. And Jeff Jarrett... It's funny, because we've always been talking about how it, he, Ric Flair, for some reason, is just trying to get an old man, and he did. He got a younger old man compared to everybody else, but he got <laughs> Jeff Jarrett, who has been retired for some time, and is 55 years old. Um, but we got Jeff Jarrett. So yeah. he's in there, and I'm sure he's going to do his thing where he spells his name, J E double F J A double R E double T, and he's going to call somebody slap nuts, and it's going to be a whole thing, and it's going to be great. Slap but, nuts. um, nice. yeah. The card overall, though, looks like one hell of a card. There's going to be a lot of great matches on there. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing that. And uh, is this is an indie could promotion, be, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. But because wrestling is more oh, ever since the Forbidden Door, mm-hmm. not the pay per view, since like the Forbidden Door, everybody's trying to like work with each other. Um, you're going to have wrestlers from MLW on here. Uh, AEW, like I said, Andrade nice. is going to be in there as well as Jay Lethal, who also represents Ring of Honor. You're going to have Impact Wrestling on there. And I think there might be some New Japan guys. So it's like you're going to have a bunch of promotions working under this indie brand for this show. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, which see you see a lot of that in wrestling. A lot of people are, uh, unless you're in WWE. Yeah, exactly. WWE is the only one that doesn't allow you to work with anyone else. So, like you have to work for only us. Everybody else yeah. is like, no, just do whatever you got to do. Um, so it should be a good show. Um, speaking of non-WWE stuff, I want to talk about... The G1 Climax. So, oh, the G1 oh, Climax. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. The G1 Climax I was in a is waiting. back, baby. It's back. And it's perfect because it we back. talked about Herogasm. So, it's yeah. like <laughs> perfect time. And it worked out because I was going to talk about it last week. It actually started last week. We had so much technical trouble. I was like, I'm not going to mention G1 for a week, and I'm going to bring it in a week nice, later. Nice, nice. Um, so, we have the G1 Climax. It is official. It is back. Mm. Um, and... Ooh. Do you guys want me to run through the names of the people in the G1 Climax? Yes, please. <laughs> yes, I'm <laughs> right. ready to climax so hard. So, in <laughs> this year's G1 Climax, they're, remember how we always joked around with Block C and shit like that? Yeah. They actually have a Block C and a Block D this year. <laughs> <laughs> so, th- you're that, welcome, you're New welcome, Japan, for wrestling. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome, everybody. <laughs> Um, so it's the way it works is you're going to have block A, block B, block C, block D, obviously, um, in the finals or the semifinals, you're going to have block A versus block B, block C versus block D. The winners of that face each other's in the finals. And then you have your G1 champion. Um, so block A superstars are as follows. Kazuchika Okada, Toriyano, Bad Luck Fale, Lance Archer, Jeff Cobb, Tom Lawler, and Jonah. Bunch of great wrestlers in there. I'm going to go with Okada, obviously. You got to go with Okada for just about anything. Block B, you got Jay White. Taichi, Tama Tonga, Tomurio, Ishii, Sonata, Great oh, Okan, shoot. and Chase Owens. The Tongas are coming, oh, boys. Damn. The Tongas are coming. <laughs> so in that one, if anything, I'm going to have to give Jay White for Block B, uh, current champion. Block C, we got Aaron Hanare, Zack Sabre Jr., Hiroki Goto, Evil, Tetsuya Naito, Kenta, and Hiroshi Tanahashi. This oh. is a tough one. Ooh, you have Tanahashi, Tanahashi. and Naito. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I know as well as you guys though. Yeah, Hiroshi <laughs> that. Tanahashi, He's... that's my man. Yep, all you <laughs> gotta, Stone... that's all you gotta do. Just say his name a bunch of times. Is the Stone Pitbull <laughs> gonna be coming up in in D? Uh, yeah, I said his name in Block B. Oh. Are you sure he's not in D? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I said it. Tomiro Ishii, the Stone Pitbull. <laughs> Um, okay. So in, in Block C, I, I could see it going a couple ways. I could see Naito, I could see Tanahashi, even a Kenta or a Zack Sabre Jr., ZSJ. Um, mm-hmm. You know, I'm always championing. And then we got Block D. We got Will Ospreay, Juice oh. Robinson, Yujiro Takahashi, Yoshihashi, El Fantasmo, Shingo Takagi, and David yeah. Finley. Shingo. So. <laughs> Ooh, Shingo. Oh, God. Okay. 
Okay, let's just go. say names. Just say names repeatedly. Shingo and that one, Takagi. you got a number of people. No, no. Osprey versus Shingo is always going to be a banger. You, yeah. You're never going to have a bad match with those two. Um, so very much looking forward to seeing what's going to happen at this year's G1. Um, I haven't been able to watch any of it live. I've been trying to deal with like a lot of shit going on. So I know that they always have a random ass tagline. I don't know what it is this year. I will try to get that for you guys next week. Okay. But G1 is back. G1 Let's is go, back. Baby. G1, Love G1 climax. G1 climax 32. Super hard. I'm looking forward to this. These yeah. next couple weeks of climaxing hard with everybody. I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm really excited for this. It's something I needed in my soul. Yep. Exactly. And one I thing feel- that definitely gets... No, go ahead. <laughs> no, 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 that's cool. All right, one thing that definitely gets wrestling fans climaxing <laughs> is Kenny Omega, the oh. best bout machine. So, rumor has it, Kenny Omega should be returning to wrestling very soon. The man um, was... He's been on. He's just been on this uprise in his career for many, many years now. And in the end, when he had to go away, he apparently the man had had he had like herniated discs. He had to get a bunch of surgeries. The man apparently had also had um, uh, what's it called when you're dizzy, sorta, and you, you can't. He had vertigo for like most of his run. Like this man was uh, like having the best matches in the world while having vertigo for like four fucking years. Maybe that and helped. nobody knew. Like this man's like world was spinning. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but it's like his world was spinning, and he's putting on the best matches of the year. <laughs> like, he's going to come back in 100% condition. Just oh. think about that. <laughs> it's going to go there's super a reason. Thin. There's a reason why they call him the best bout machine, the one-winged angel. Um, by God, Kenny Omega. So seeing him come back, I can't fucking wait for it. Um, we, we need Kenny. We need Kenny back. Damn, he's like a demigod. He, he truly is. Like, he, <laughs> he's literally called the best bout machine. Like... <laughs> That's Kenny. <laughs> Eslam got to see fucking Kenny Omega wrestle live, and what was considered to be one of the greatest fucking tag team matches ever. Yeah, and I actually yeah, I, don't I, remember. I know he. It was the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega versus Hangman Adam Page. It was the big match at the end. Of which show? You enjoyed yeah. it at the time, but yeah, that's the uh, that's the uh, yeah in Chicago. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I loved but, it. Man. Um, it was fantastic. Yeah, I could tell. <laughs> so yeah, that is my wrestling news uh, for the for this week. You got Ric Flair. You got G One. You got Kenny Omega. Right. Climax, super hard. Let's go. 